Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'm going to teach you how to enter a credit card refund in QuickBooks Online. This tutorial is one of our 46 free tutorials that you can find by googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online tutorials. So let's get started entering a credit card refund. We'll start from our dashboard. Before I enter a refund, I like to look at the initial transaction so that I know exactly what it is I'm reversing. So let's look at our credit card register by going to accounting and then chart of accounts. Within your chart of accounts, let's scroll down and find a credit card. So we'll use the QuickBooks credit card and click view register. Great, so looking at the register, let's find a transaction to reverse. So let's reverse this. So we made a credit card charge to the Lockworks at, uh, for $26 and we charge that to the supplies account. So I'm going to make a note of that to the supplies. Okay, so let's assume that we've returned the new keys and they've given us a refund of $26. So how do we enter that refund? So to enter a credit card refund, let's go to the new button at the top of our left menu bar and then under vendors, there's a credit card credit option. So let's choose that. That's where we're going to record the refund. Okay, so now we know that this charge was to Cecil's Lockworks and it was on the QuickBooks credit card. Um, the original charge was uh, on the, uh, I think it was November 27th, so we'll say this is getting reversed November 30th and I think this is a sample company and I think it's dated up in 2024, so we'll do that. Okay. Um, it was charged to our supplies account, so we want to credit it back to that supplies account. Okay, and we're going to say return keys, and the amount was $26. And there we go. So that's our credit card refund. So that should reduce our credit card liability. Let's hit save and close. This takes us back to our register. And here we can see this was our original transaction charging to the supplies account. And now this is our refund up here of $26 again credited to that supplies expense account. And there you have it. That's how you record a credit card refund in QuickBooks Online. I hope this was helpful and that you have a great day.